हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज़ माई फर्स्ट यूट्यूब वीडियो इफ़ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल माई नेम इज अड़पा वेंकट रेवती टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट सिस्को आई पी फोन बूटअप प्रोसेस बूटअप प्रोसेस विल हैपन वेन फोन फर्स्ट टाइम कनेक्टिंग टू द स्विच एंड गेट रजिस्टर्ड विथ सिस्को यूनिफाइड कम्युनिकेशन मैनेजर देर आर ए फ्यू स्टेप्स द फोन गेट रजिस्टर एंड रेडी टू मेक कॉल्स If you see in this diagram once the phone connected to the ethernet switch port it get power through the poe that is ieee 802.3 ap or cisco inline power that could be 15.4 watts once phone power on it loads some program and we can able to see cisco image on phone display after that the switch will send vlan information to the cisco ip phone through cdp cisco discovery protocol mechanism this is for cisco devices means if phone and switch both are cisco devices the protocol mechanism will be cdp if any one of the device is non cisco the mechanism will be lldp link layer discovery protocol okay after this If you see in this diagram the phone will ask IP address from DHCP server every time any network device getting IP address from DHCP server there will be a process happen that called as dora process discovery offer request and acknowledgement we'll discuss this in later video actually DHCP server offer an IP address and also few options those are default gateway address dns server information dns address and also it offer a unique address that is option 150 option 150 have the address of tftp server some people have doubt about option 150 and option 66 right option 150 provides list of tftp server addresses and it is a cisco proprietary option 66 provides single tftp server that could be ip or host name and it is iw okay if you see in this diagram once phone get option 150 from dhcp server it will request configuration files from tftp server so what tftp server will do it will give config configuration files and firmware files to the phone sometimes the phone will not take configuration files from tftp server that means the phone is not registering at first time so it will take automatically default files last one is registering if you see the phone will get configuration files from tftp server in that it have list of cucm ip addresses there will be a three cucm ip addresses in the configuration list so the phone will get register in one of the call manager in that list so finally phone get register and get ready to make calls this is the summary and thank you for watching please like subscribe my channel thank you bye